Um, my name's Ganesh, but aside from my name, I'm very ethnically ambiguous. <laughs> Nobody knows what I am. And so occasionally I get mistaken for Cliff Curtis. <laughs> but my wife, bless her heart, she thinks I look like um, Taika Waititi. Because <laughs> that's her celebrity crush. And she's got a hall pass. <laughs> so, um, I got to test this out recently. Last year, Brett McKenzie was having a uh, performance at the Opera House. I went along, half time, I went to go get the ice creams outside, and down the alleyway was Taika Waititi having a smoke. I thought, this is my chance. <laughs> so I walked down, you know, catch his eye, do the um, bro, bro acknowledgement. <laughs> and I see in his eyes, he starts to knock, and this kind of recognition comes over his face, <laughs> as if he's looking in a mirror. <laughs> it's very validating. <laughs> and he points to me, he goes, hey. Are you Cliff Curtis? <laughs> so I said, yes, yes I am. And I gave him my autograph. It was great. <laughs> so fun fact, um, Taika Waititi and I have a, um, a, a common passion. And that is to um, dress like Hitler. <laughs> so he did it for the movie Jojo Rabbit, of course. And I did it when I was 10. For, the, um, for my school's World Leaders Day. <laughs> I was famous, not bad. Of course, Tiger got a lot of accolades for his role as a brown man playing Hitler, but for some reason, I just got a lot of disdain from the other parents at the, uh, at the school I went to. And, um, Blue and Nazi haters. <laughs> they wouldn't let me play with their kids. <laughs> really cut my social life down. <laughs> you know, and you know, as a young boy, you know, I felt it. I was targeted. You know, I had a foreign look, a foreign name. If people would ask me, "Where are you from?" I'd say, Miramar. <laughs> How much more foreign can you get? I know! Actually, no, it's, and, you know, now I meet lots of foreign people. You know, we've got great, great diversity in Wellington, right? So uh, meeting people, obviously foreign. They've got foreign names. I asked them where they live. And they said, Murma. <laughs> <laughs> we work for Weta Digital. <laughs> so, um, look, I still get targeted as a brown man. Last week, Cooper Duper, of course, lots of performances, and you know, people singling me out left, right, and center. It may be because I'm going, pick me, pick me! <laughs> I want to be! Yeah, so that's, that's quite good. But I, um, look, I haven't always been the handsome, gorgeous, charismatic, energetic, amazing. <laughs> man that you see before you today. I've struggled. I've really struggled. Who's your therapist? Everyone here. That's why we do comedy. It's just therapy, right? So, but listen, I had a major, major validation recently. I got my first uh, stalker. <laughs> it was an unknown number. And you know, it went like this, it's like, Hi, big boy. It's like, uh, I think you might have the wrong number. You're everything I want, Ganesh. I got pretty excited. <laughs> I had to know everything. <laughs> Who was she? How did she get my number? 
is this just a one-off or do we get to meet in person? <laughs> Does she know where I live? Or will she come over for dinner and meet the family? <laughs> and just then, click. Apparently I was too intense for my stalker. <laughs> She wasn't ready for a real relationship. <laughs> but I believe in setting clip chances, so uh, if you're out there, call me. <laughs> I promise I'll take it much slower next time. Thank you, I'm getting a